The first three of the 10 keystrokes you gotta learn to edit five times faster are JKNL. Yeah, I'm giving you three of them all at once. If you're not using these, you're missing out. The beauty is that these keystrokes work with almost any editing program. So a lot of the stuff you learn here translates to all the other editing programs. In fact, virtually all of it does because you can always adjust and map your keyboard. So JKNL, the letter J, you type the letter J and the video starts playing backwards. You type the letter K, the video stops. You type the letter L, the video starts playing forwards, but there's a little bit more to it. I can also use the space bar to stop and start, which is what I end up doing most of the time. But if I type the letter J once, it goes backwards at single speed. See, it says one there, hit it again, double speed, four speed, eight speed, all the way up to 16 speed. You can go backwards instead of having to scrub the timeline. Scrub means take your playhead and go back and forth. So J backwards and the same with L. L once is forward at single speed, then double speed, four speed, eight speed, all the way up to 16 speed. You can obviously use J, K, and L in the timeline like I was showing you, but you can also use it in the media window up here if you wanted to choose what you wanted to bring down to the timeline before you take everything to the timeline. I can select any of these clips and use J, K, and L to navigate in this window and it's fine, but it's a little bit easier if there's a longer line here so I can see more of what's going on, a little more to mess with. So what I do if I was going to choose a section of one of these clips before bringing it to the timeline is select list, then find the clip. How about this one here? And then I can navigate to it. I'm gonna hit L and go forwards to find the good part because obviously I just turned the camera on, it's all messy. And then down here, what do we got? Uh, I'm keeping going. Oh, look, there's a shark. So maybe I want to use this section here. So I'm going to teach you two more keystrokes right now that you need to know if you were going to be editing right here, and those are I and O. So if I position my playhead where I want this clip to start, I just type the letter I and look what it does. Oh, it makes an in point right here. It selects this portion of the clip to start. Then I'm going to hit L again to go forward. And here's me trying to hold my breath, coming up to the shark, trying not to get eaten. And I'm at the end of the shark, that's the end. So I, what did I hit? I hit K to stop playing there. And now I'll just type the letter O and the beauty is I and O are right above J, K, and L. So I would not remap these, I just leave them just like this. So if I wanna use this clip in my timeline, I just hit the plus sign and bam, it added the clip in my timeline where my playhead was. I can also use I and O in the timeline. So I'm using L to go forward. It's like, oh, I wanna start here. And let's say I just wanna export a little bit of this whole thing. I got all this stuff in the timeline. So I wanna export a little chunk. Let's say I wanna export from here to, I just selected an endpoint. I typed I. When I go forward, you're gonna see that there's an endpoint right there. And if I go, I just wanna get through the shark stuff, boom. And I can type O. Now when I go to export this clip, you can see that I've got these cancel options here to clear those. But if I zoom in a little bit, you'll see that I've got a tiny little in point here, a tiny little out point here, and this is what's going to be exported. Those five keystrokes are the most basic keystrokes you should learn when starting to edit because they will translate directly to nearly any editing program on earth and they will get you moving much faster. You can see all of CapCut's keystrokes by clicking up here on the word shortcut. Bam, here's all the keystrokes for the timeline, player, basic, other. They also have other layouts for the keystrokes, four other ones, so there's a total of five different keyboard layouts. I just stick with the first one. Once you get comfortable with these built-in keystrokes over time, you might think, huh, it'd be great if I had this other keystroke here to work better with the way I work, and you can change them just simply by clicking on a keystroke and then just selecting the letter you want to be the keystroke instead. I've created a free PDF with all of CapCut's keystrokes, which you can download in the link description below. I'm also gonna give you some of these snorkeling videos so you have some video to play with. It's gonna be raw, unfiltered. Hopefully I'm not saying or doing anything inappropriate in them, but there's a link for some of these snorkeling clips in the description below along with the free PDF. The next keystroke, we're gonna call it one keystroke. It's just the up arrow and the down arrow. If you have a bunch of clips in your timeline and you wanna go back one clip at a time, you can obviously scrub like this by dragging the playhead, or you can just hit the up arrow to go backwards one edit point at a time, or the down arrow to go forwards one edit point at a time. Bonus keystrokes, I'm not even gonna count them, are the left and right arrows to go forward and backwards one frame at a time. And one more bonus, if you hit shift and the right arrow, you go forward at 10 frames, shift and the left arrow, you go backwards 10 frames, and that is pretty useful. Once you start editing, you'll, you'll see why. The next two keystrokes are Q and W, and I didn't even use these keystrokes when I was in Hollywood, and I use them now, and I totally should have. And what they do is add an edit point 
and delete everything either to the left or to the right of that clip. To demonstrate, let me show you what most of you are probably doing right now, no matter what app you're using. You'll just position your playhead where you want to add the edit. You'll come over to the tool palette. You'll select the razor blade here, and then you'll go click, and it adds an edit there. You can't see it because the playhead's in the way. And then I would type the letter A or grab the other tool here, and click on it and then I hit delete and because the track magnet was on it deleted that space so I could do that in that many steps or I could just go over to here and it'll do all this at once it will add an edit and delete everything to the left of it by typing the letter Q bam deleted it moved it over and it only moved it over because the track magnet was on let me show you with the track magnet off when you type the letter Q it just leaves the space, but it does do two things at once. So it saves you keystrokes in time. It added the edit and deleted everything. And if I turn the track magnet back on, it'll suck it over. You usually want the track magnet on only when you're doing your rough edit, because once you start getting multiple errors and the magnet starts sliding only that main track over, it will mess you up. So you'll turn that off once you get this initial edit done. And now what do you think the letter W does? Let's say we wanted to end this edit right here, right before she breaks the surface. That's my daughter, Rachel. You could take the razor blade, cut it here, then delete it. Or I could just type the letter what to add an edit to cut the track right here and delete all this stuff. You just type the letter W, bam, all in one keystroke. So that saves you two or three keystrokes, depending on whether or not you have the track magnet on. Super valuable. Practice using that along with JKNL. Usually I have my left hand on the keyboard and my right hand on the mouse so I can be super efficient. The next keystroke you want to get comfortable with is Command B, which does just add an edit. It does the same thing as running over here, clicking on the razor blade, and then clicking here and adding an edit. Command B does the same thing. It just adds the edit right where the playhead is. So if I position my player where I want it to add the edit, I just hit Command B. And now look, I've got that cut there. And then I would just, you know, click on this guy and hit delete. And you might think, wait, what did you do? How did you do that? Why don't you have a razor blade? Bonus keystroke. We had the razor blade tool, but I just typed the letter A to get it back to the arrow. And now I can move my playhead around. And then I hit Command B where I want to add that edit. And then I click on the clip I want to make go away. And bam, I make it go away. Depending on what you're doing, sometimes you'll use Q and W to add the edit and delete everything before after. And sometimes you just want to add the edit there. So just use Command B. Never ever use the razor blade tool. Don't even start. It's just going to slow you way, way down. By the way, if you'd taken my course, Edit with Treva and Master CapCut, you already know all these keystrokes. You'd have the PDF. You'd know more keystrokes. And you'd already know how to edit. Plus, you'd know the 10 things you should be doing with every video to make sure you get more views and subscribers. Like, if you do these 10 things that I share with you in section two of my course, you will for sure get more views and subscribers with every video you create. So... Stop messing around. If you're serious about YouTube, just, just take the course and get on with your life. And start making some money, bro. Oh, and if you don't like the course for any reason, just tell me and I'll give you all your money back. So you got, you got nothing to lose. The next keystroke is Shift-Z. Shift-Z allows you to see everything on your timeline at once, and I use this all the time. Right now, we're zoomed in, so we can only see a few clips. We could zoom out by clicking and dragging on this guy, or we could just hit shift z and bam you see the whole timeline i've got another bonus keystroke coming after this one so so stick around but this keystroke is command scroll you got this little scroll wheel on your mouse if you've got a, a mouse with a scroll wheel i think most of them have it if you hold down the command key on a mac or the control key on a pc you will zoom in and out of the timeline you don't always want to see the entire timeline and you don't always want to be zoomed in medium sometimes you want to be tighter sometimes you'll be a little looser and this allows you to zoom in and control how much you zoom in and out so i can position my playhead here and practice that other of my favorite keystrokes which is letter q bam when you finish watching this video you want to watch this one right here for the four apps that I use all the time that help me get to over 85,000 subscribers. They hope you do the same thing. Bonus tip, if you want to duplicate a clip, all you do is you hold down the option key on a Mac, the alt key on a PC, and then you click and drag up, and bam, I have duplicated the clip. Mic drop. Grab my mic.